I'm Mike Huckman at the Bio Buzz Center, where I am joined by Sarkis Masmanian, who is a once aspiring poet turned rock star microbiologist and professor at the California Institute of Technology, also known as Caltech. Pleasure to have you here. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm doing well. So the reason we are having a discussion is not only because you're behind some what I think is really cool and interesting mm -hmm. science, but because you're one of the national finalists for a quarter million dollar award from the Blavatnik Foundation that's given to young scientists under the age of 42. Um, so tell us about the science that attracted the attention uh, and put you into this, this category. Yeah, so I'm a microbiologist by training and, and for many years uh, I studied pathogenic bacteria, bacteria that make us sick, but a few years ago I realized that not all bacteria want to make us sick. In fact, most bacteria in theory want to confer health because they live inside of us and the healthier we are, the, the, the more vibrant and, and, and uh, uh, thriving they can be in, in, their, in their environments. And so I switched over to looking at symbiotic bacteria, beneficial bacteria. We studied how beneficial bacteria augment the immune system. And more recently, we've been looking at how bacteria uh, improve the nervous system, particularly in mouse models of autism. Because Circus, there is a lot of attention, as you know, renewed attention, let's call it, within the biopharmaceutical industry to superbugs, to antibiotic resistance, to Correct. speeding up the research and development so that we get new antibiotics available to hospitals, physicians, and patients. But you're taking a little bit of a counterintuitive approach. That's right, and, and, and of course, I think those efforts are, are, are very important because there are many organisms that are pathogenic that do want to cause disease. But the antibiotics that the pharmaceutical companies are developing are, in most cases, very indiscriminate. They won't just um, kill off the, the harmful organisms, they're actually hurting the beneficial organisms. And so we have a new theory is that the absence of bacteria is a risk factor for disease. It's just that different bacteria have different activities. You may want to kill off the bad ones, but the collateral damage is, is that we may be killing off the good ones as well. I also wanted to call out some, some really intriguing research that you and your lab team uh, is doing in autism. You believe, your hypothesis is that there's a relationship between gut bacteria and the brain in people who have autism? That's right, and so we were informed initially by human studies showing that many children with, with autism have GI abnormalities. And so we asked, are gut bacteria involved in the GI aspect of, of autism? And so once again, all the work done in animal models, what we've shown is that there is a relationship between the gut and the brain, and specifically in how gut bacteria change gut physiology that then feeds back on neurological or brain function, in this case, behavior associated with autism. So it sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. If you're you're fortunate enough to win this quarter million dollar prize. It is unrestricted, which is quite unusual. So what would you and your lab team do with it? Yeah, so I, I, we'd use some of the money to launch you know, new projects that would be very, very difficult to fund through traditional funding agencies. Um, most of the time you need preliminary data or some or strong evidence to get a, a research grant, a national research grant. But I think we'd use this as pilot funding for, 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 for these new projects that have really nothing but, you know, a, an idea or a concept behind them. And the other uh, part of the money I think I, I would use for, for you know, benefit to others, in particular benefits to, to underdeveloped scientific countries, countries that, that don't have the resource that we have. Even though resources here are limited and are becoming more and more limited over time, we're still much, much better off in terms of our scientific resources than, than many other, other countries. And so I think there would be great use of the money to help those who are, who are more in need than we are. Well, Sarkis Masmani, and uh, best of luck to you in the competition. There are eight Nobel laureates that are on the jury that are deciding who's going to get this very competitive uh, prize. The Blavatnik Foundation is going to announce the winners in late July of 2014. If you want to nominate uh, anybody or yourself for the quarter million dollar prize next year, the nominations will open in the fall of 2014. I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBuzz Center.